Arm Limited, or just Arm, is a British semiconductor company. And what you might not realize is that it's the tech giant behind so many of the devices we use every day. It was a joint venture started by three companies back in 1990. Who were the companies? They were Acorn Computers, VLSI Technology, and none other than Apple. It's expected to list on the public market in the fall of 2023 with a massive valuation of over $60 billion. It'll be the biggest IPO this year and in the top five tech listings ever. Arm has has lined up 28 banks for its IPO. This is a lot of banks. When you have a large amount of shares to get out into the market, it helps to have different banks authenticate the shares out to clients. Arm can raise several billion dollars. They're going to need all the banks to get to work. For Arm, this also serves as a relationship building tactic. They want to keep good relationships with banks. That's why we see the who's who of Wall Street on it. Four major investment banks are leading the listing. Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Barclays, and Mizuho Financial Group. But what is Arm? and what exactly do they do that gives them this massive valuation. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Dark Mode Digest, where we explore today's most important topics in the tech industry. In this episode, we'll delve into what ARM is, what it does, its unique business model, and its impact on today's society. Here we go. Arm Limited, often referred to as Arm, is a company that hails from the UK. The company was founded in November 1990 as Advanced RISC Machines LTD and was structured as a joint venture between Acorn Computers, Apple, and VLSI Technology. Acorns provided 12 employees, Apple provided $3 million in funding, and VLSI provided tools to build its technology. One of the VPs at Apple, Mary Tesler, actually became the first CEO of this new venture. Arm's primary business is the design of Arm products processors, which are CPUs. For context, a CPU is a central processing unit, which is the main processor in a computer. It's a tiny chip located on the computer's motherboard that acts as the computer's control center. Its job is to listen for input data from devices like a mouse, keyboard, or other software, look up instructions for that data, and then execute those instructions. ARM also offers products such as AI platforms, CPUs, MPUs, which are neural processing units used to accelerate machine learning workloads, graphics and multi media, development tools, custom system on a chip infrastructure, processors, and internet of things products. It's known for designing the architecture used in low power, highly efficient chips that power smartphones, hard drives, and other devices. Apple actually uses ARM architecture in its silicon processors for iPhones, iPads, and Apple watches. In 2020, Apple famously began dropping Intel processors in its MacBooks for its own custom designed CPUs that leverage ARM's architecture. Microsoft offers ARM based versions of its Surface computers and Windows editions that can run on ARM-based PCs. Samsung uses ARM architecture in its CPUs. AWS, Oracle, Google, Alibaba, Tencent, and Baidu all incorporate ARM technology into their products and services. But what exactly does this mean to use ARM architecture? ARM isn't your typical chip maker. Instead of producing the physical processors, they design the blueprints and architecture, then license these intellectual properties out to other companies, which then build ARM-based chips according to these specifications. ARM doesn't manufacture or sell any chips directly. So when Apple started creating its own custom chips for its MacBooks, dubbed Apple Silicon, they used the blueprints provided by ARM to create these chips. This is how ARM makes most of its money, by collecting royalties every time a company makes a chip using its design. And thanks to the company's market dominance, over 160 billion chips were based on ARM's design last year. This business has grown 16.7% year over year. ARM's non-royalty revenue is taken from the licenses for processor designs to other semiconductor companies. Essentially, some semiconductor companies pay an upfront fee to gain access to the technology and then a subsequent royalty on every chip that uses one of its designs. ARMS's revenue for 2022 was $2.68 billion, which is actually a 1% decline from 2021 at $2.7 billion. ARM is known for its reduced instruction set computer or RISC architecture, which emphasizes simplicity and efficiency. This allows ARM's processors to achieve high performance while consuming less power than many other architectures, which is why new smartphones can run almost all day on a single charge. ARM's architectures dominate the smartphone and tablet market. The majority of mobile devices run on processors that use ARM's designs. Apple's A-series chips for iPhone and iPad qualify 
Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors, Samsung's Exynos chips, Google also leverages them for its pixels and many, many others. In 2016, the Japanese conglomerate SoftBank acquired ARM for $32 billion. A year later, a 25% stake in the company was transferred to SoftBank's Vision Fund, which received investment from the Saudi Sovereign Fund. In September 2020, Nvidia, a prominent player in this GPU market, announced its intent to acquire ARM from SoftBank for $40 billion. This acquisition aimed to combine Nvidia's AI computing capabilities with ARM's vast ecosystem to expand into different markets. SoftBank Group would acquire slightly less than a 10% stake in Nvidia, and ARM would maintain its headquarters in Cambridge. There were many people opposing this deal due to national security concerns from the UK and competition concerns from fellow tech companies like Google and Microsoft whose chips in use or on, on sale heavily relied on ARM's intellectual property. This sale eventually got canceled in February 2022. Being a subsidiary of SoftBank Group Corp, SoftBank plans to have ARM raise $8 billion through an IPO on the NASDAQ. ARM has 250 plus billion chips in everything from sensors to smartphones to servers. Its approach to processor design and its licensing model have revolutionized the semiconductor industry, allowing a multitude of manufacturers to create customized solutions tailored to specific needs while maintaining compatibility with a widely accepted architecture. So when you're using your phone, tablet, or laptop, just remember that it's most likely powered by ARMS's technology.